Hey, welcome everybody. It's KB here. So as we all know, we get two major updates for the Windows 10 every year. And we also know the history of Windows 10 updates. They can be buggy. They can create some kind of issues when you update your Windows 10. So to protect yourself from these Windows 10 update issues, I'm going to show you guys three simple things to do before updating your Windows 10. So the first thing you can do is create a system restore point. So to access this option in your Windows 10, just simply search for it and click on create a restore point and it will bring system properties and under system properties, it will take you to system protection. Here you can create a system restore point. So let me explain you how system restore point works so when you make a system restore point before the update and then update your windows 10 and if you get any problem you can undo all the changes that i have done after you created a restore point so it is a very useful feature that you should be using every time you update your windows 10. so to create a system restore point, you can just click on create and you can also read here. It says create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. So to create a system restore point, make sure that system protection is turned on at least on Windows drive or C drive. So by default, it should be turned on for the Windows drive. But just in case, if it is turned off, you can simply select the drive and click on configure. And here you can turn on the system protection. And now to create a system restore point, just click on create and give it a name, any name that you can easily remember. So I'm just going to name it Win 10 update. So it will be easy to remember and it will create system restore point within few seconds. It doesn't take that long. So you can see it says system restore point was created successfully. So now let's say you updated your Windows 10 to the latest version, but you got some problems. Don't worry, you can get back here and this time you click on system restore. Just click on it and it will give you some options. Just click on next and once you're here you can see that you had created system restore point you can see we named it win 10 update and we know this is the one system restore point we created before updating over windows 10 so after choosing your system restore point you can click on next and uh, it will undo all the changes that have done after creating this restore point so if you have updated your windows 10 and it is buggy it has problems you can just undo that so it's a really powerful yet very simple feature to use and you should be using it whenever you're updating your windows 10 and the second thing you can do is backup your important files before updating the windows 10 simply use external drive copy and paste your important files whatever you have and another option is use online drives such as google drive and microsoft's onedrive and each of these services will give you 15 gigabyte of storage for free so it's uh, up to you what you want to use depending on your file size you can use free version of online drive which will give you 15 gigabytes or just use your external drive and the last thing you can do to protect yourself from windows 10 update issues is don't update your windows 10 for a few weeks or a month and let me explain you why so whenever you get the windows 10 major update it will actually come as a optional update so you don't have to update it immediately so you can just wait and let other people install it for you and keep tracking the windows 10 update and that way you will be very safe so let me explain you how so don't update your windows 10 and then just search for the specific windows 10 update that is coming out and look for the news related to that update so for example windows 10 may 2021 update is almost here 
and we will get that update in April or May. So April is almost done. So I'm sure that it is going to be out in May, some early May or late May, doesn't know, but uh, just don't update your Windows 10. Just wait for other people to report about that update. So simply just read the news related to your Windows 10 update. And if there is problem, people will report to media and media will just uh, make a post and they will tell you what is the problem with the Windows 10 update and you can just keep tracking the Windows 10 update issues and once the Microsoft knows that there is a problem with the update and Microsoft will fix the update and then uh, just update your Windows 10 like uh, just wait for other people to use the update and you will know everything just keep tracking the update using news and uh, you'll be good and yeah that's how you should be updating your windows 10 but if you have done uh, step one and step two you can actually update your windows 10 without a problem if there is a problem you can simply just undo everything by using the system restore point and if you have backed up your files then you're also good and uh, you know the best thing i would suggest to you guys to do is um don't update the windows 10 for a few weeks or month and uh, yeah actually all of the steps are very important still just create a system restore point it doesn't take time and uh, you will be very safe once you create a system restore point because you can just undo everything uh, after you create a system restore point and that's it hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, I will put link in the description for my website. You can go there and watch other videos, download softwares. You know, I do a lot of things. I make tutorials and all that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.